Tech stocks in China have been on a major downward trend, but will it spread to the US? You came here for the truth. Today we're going to look at this issue, of course. I want to give you an update on what's happening to Repo. First things first though, we need to talk about China. I think it's really important to give us a little bit of insight as to what's happening. Second thing is the tech stocks. We need to have a good overview of the tech stocks because right now all of their earnings are coming out there fantastic and yet the stocks are doing very poorly. And number three, I wanna talk about inflation. This is going on, of course, all over the world. Many different things being affected. I'll give you some updates on that and so much more. Let's go. Another day, another repo. You can see the reverse repo operations by the Federal Reserve today, $927 billion. We are quickly approaching the one trillion. I can't wait. We're going to celebrate, of course. I will do that on a live stream and we could celebrate the one trillion. Let's look at what's happening here with China. China's stock route spreads amid fears of foreign investor exodus. So there's been a lot of crackdowns. There's been a lot of problems here with many of these different stocks. We'll talk more about that in a second. But of course, this is having a direct impact on the prices. Now you look at what happened in the US, you've got Apple, you've got Tesla, you've got any of these other companies coming out, they're posting fantastic earnings, they're posting all these great things, the future is looking bright and friendly, but the stock went down. Now, I'll tell you why I believe that's going down right now. I got my other screen here looking at red across the board. I think it's important to note that the Federal Reserve, by the time you watch this video, the Federal Reserve will be outputting their statement and of course the press conference all the details around it the articles and so on the fun begins at 2 p.m and then 2 30 for the press conference and all the articles and everything that gets written around that point that's what the market is waiting for they're simply waiting for the federal reserve jerome powell to say everything's going to be okay no rate increases no tapering so the party can go on so this is something else, okay? But let's talk more about China here. Investors rush to safe havens, to havens, I should say, as China's stock sell-off deepens. Look, the Hang Seng Tech Index lost about 17% in three days. In three days, a bear market, nearly a bear market in terms of percentage terms, three days. So that is a significant sell-off right now a deepening sell-off in chinese stocks spread to the bond and currency markets as unverified rumors swirl that the u.s funds are offloading china in hong kong assets so we don't know yet we'll get the details of that and of course i will bring that to you look at this article here chinese bike sharing startup hello scraps plans for u.s ipo there's been many of these there's been others, DD, I believe is another one. They're coming out. They're almost, you know, about to launch this thing and then they get shut down. So this is a big problem, of course. But when you have uncertainty, you're always going to have volatility. A sell-off in Chinese technology stocks accelerated as investors unnerved by China's widening crackdown on internet companies and other industries sold down their holdings of many popular stocks. They get into some of the details, the percentages, and so on. The chart that you're seeing in the bottom left corner, that's Tencent. So you're talking about, realistically, one of the biggest companies in the world. And here it is, losing from the peak over $900 billion, the market cap. And down, it looks like, you know, 500, $544 billion. $544 billion. Unbelievable in such a short period of time. Okay, from February up until now. So you may say, well, I don't care. That's China. Who cares? It's a Chinese company. But what you're looking at here is something that could happen in any country. It's, it's a matter of fact. There could be the same kind of thing, whether it's regulations, whether it's new rules put in place, whether it's something because, you know, it happened in one industry and then it spreads to the other industry in that particular country. It could be reduced spending, economic recession, whatever. It could be anything. Because the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Look at this, a sudden tech divide. So, you know, roughly 
things were looking pretty similar when you compare the Nasdaq and the Hang Seng. And you could see the two lines there. But what has happened just over the last, let's say, month or so, two months, has been a huge divide. Huge. So just to give you an idea of what's been happening, okay? Look at it. You could see this individually over the last few days just coming down like crazy. Like three trading sessions losing nearly 17%. So I would say, let's keep our eyes peeled. We'll get into the Money GPS insights right now. Number one, the tech bubble has clearly been shaken down in China today. Number two, after a massive run-up, weakness is pervasive and could spread. So be careful and watch the movements in the stock market. Number three, as Jeremy Grantham has suggested, investors should be careful with their portfolio, rebalance it to have less growth. This is really important. I did a video about this yesterday, I believe. So definitely check it out. All right, so now let's get into the second half of the video. I'm going to move through things really quickly. Some updates for you. Inflation is getting worse for manufacturers. Solid earnings updates from 3M, Rockwell, and Stanley Black & Decker came with a worrying asterisk. Now you're seeing this. If I move down, they're talking about what you think. Supply chain pressures, rising costs, and of course, they are increasing prices. Do we need to know that? I think you already did. They're just giving some, you know, 3M has to raise prices everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Um, they just get on. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. But supply chain problems, increased raw materials. Look, we're going to pass that on to the customer. I was reading an article previously about a restaurant owner that he said essentially prices are rising the the rates that we got to pay people are increasing everything we buy is increasing we're not making any money and maybe they're at limited capacity and so on so what do you think is going to happen prices increase i have seen it myself i've heard it from my subscribers all around the world prices at restaurants have increased you go to different stores prices have increased so prices are all over the board have you ever ever seen a period of time in your lifetime where in general, there's always fluctuations, but in general, prices started moving down on things? Not really. Not really. Yeah, there's, you know, you can poke holes in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, but this thing and that store and this place has always been the same price. There's shrinkflation. There's all kinds of things that are happening today. And people don't want to address it, but I think it's so clear and important to do so. Underlying all of this, though, it's the Federal Reserve and what they're doing. So you as an individual, if you see this happening, you know there's inflation, what are you going to do? This is the question I ask all the time. I think it's pretty clear, but we have to have a hedge against that inflation. We need a secondary source of income. We need to be bringing in money different than the way we did before because suddenly your job could be replaced by robotics and automation. Suddenly, they don't need you anymore because you're working from home now. So why not get that person working overseas instead of you? What's the difference? This is the first stage in this multi-stage process. Durable goods orders advance in June as US economy continues to grow. Yeah, fantastic, right? Here's a chart associated with that. Certainly not one of the strongest months, but it's in positive territory. Look at the price of copper. Well, that's great for the economy, right? It's it's increasing. That's the way they say. If everything's increasing, it's good for the economy. They think inflation is good for the economy. That's the way that they put it into their GDP statistics. If you got to pay more for your health care, guess what? Good for the economy. If you got to pay more for everything, well, higher spending. That's good for the economy, right? Well, maybe in the short term, not in the long term. The home price index, K. Schiller. Month after month after month after month. It's absurd. Cattle prices are going up. Okay. Home prices broke records in May, according to the K. Schiller. That's what I just showed you a moment ago. The 20 city composite gained 17% year over year. 17%. It's absurd. Look at this. Sugar and coffee slip from multi-year highs as frost fears ease. I've been talking about this a lot on my live chats that I do every night. 
And you know, this right here is just something that look at the trend, you will see it is up, 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 up. Certainly there are some commodities that have come down from their peak, but the general trend is up. Have you ever gone to whatever Starbucks, let's just say, and the price has gone down? No. Another way that they can increase the price is you know it. I know you know it. You go to the supermarket, you go to this store, that store, you find a particular item, whatever it might be, it's always on sale. Or you wait two weeks, it's back on sale. So those sales are going to be uh, much less frequent or not at all, from what I understand from reading all the different uh, publications that have come out. So expect that as well. Okay, and then last but not least, just want to show you a different situation. Like if you look at certain uh, West countries like the US, there's no talk of increasing rates. At least that's what they say. But then you see the Bank of Russia being one example, increases the key rate by 100 basis points. So the emerging market countries are definitely doing something different than what the US is doing and what Canada is doing and so on. Actually, Europe has no intention either. But this just gives you an idea of what's been happening. So we need to take note of that, be smart about that, and start to realize that globally rate increases have begun. And based on this, my count is at 22 rate increases on a global level. So let's keep an eye on that, okay? If you wanna be able to get the information that I share, I assure you that due to the algorithm, manipulation that's happened to this channel it's becoming more and more difficult i hear from multiple people now every single day that they have not got my notification they haven't got my video what you got to do is click on the subscribe you got to click on the bell and i believe it will give you some options where you could say notify me every time that's really key it's really important but in addition to that you've got to sign up to the insiders it's totally free and that Make sure that I'm getting to you and you're getting to me. That is available for free at themoneygps.com. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. I'm throwing out funny stuff on there related to inflation every single day. I'm talking about the stock market updates and so on. You definitely want to check it out. This way, not only is it entertaining to you, it's informative to you, but you can share this stuff because it's funny. So people will kind of get the humor in it. I've noticed specifically all the funny ones that I've done are really getting shared, which is exactly what I was hoping for. This is great because we can get the people that, you know, they don't really want to watch a 15 minute money GPS video, but maybe we can start to get them in with a little funny image from Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and so on. So definitely check that out. Look up all the platforms, whatever your favorite is, at the money GPS. And if you haven't seen this video already, you've got to check it out. Click it and I'll see you there.